So I just want to start off by saying I had lots of changes for this book. I started by printing my own pictures and placing them on the wall and doing the sort that way and I found that very helpful. But after I printed my pictures, I had narrowed it down to about uh, 60 images down to 50. And uh, once I had printed all those images, I thought that I wanted to set it up like the, my original uh, book that I reviewed, The Americans, where it had one pa single page that was blank on the left and a page on the, on the right. When you flip through the book, you're only seeing one picture. I liked how the pictures just held up by themselves. Um, after getting feedback and everything, um, people understood that um, Granville did not like uh, the flow of the book and didn't really understand the sequencing. So um, I changed that sequencing and I reduced the images way down to only 23 images and one title page. Um, I ran into printing problems at the last minute and after I'd done test printing at Staples, uh, when I got to Staples the day I was doing my final print, uh, they couldn't print it that day. So then I had to find a whole new printer, which was a total panic mode, if you can imagine. In creating the book, I made the cover out of uh, framing matting and uh, glued it together and created the two front and back cover with a uh, protection page on the inside to protect the uh, image prints. Um, and the printing that was done locally at a Minuteman press. Because of the last minute problems with the printer, I had to resort with a um, 100 pound gloss paper uh, that's in many books anyways. Not really what I was looking for in my final print, uh, but I got the job done. I was looking for a little bit more of a satin um, luster type of uh, not as glossy print. My book title, Marginalized in America, is trying to show the marginalized population of the homeless as well as how we also marginalize animals that we take care of. Um, you will see that we don't treat either very well.